Evening, let's get back into it. Yay! Welcome to the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're on YouTube and you want to check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below. Or you can find me at twitch.tv slash wados96. But getting back into Merkelwood, and I believe I should hopefully finish the all the side quests in Merkelwood tonight. If not, I'll get close to it. Not the side, all of the side quests, but all the ones that I've found. Most of them are Quincy Greenfist and the ones that I've found along the way. significance to old bones and cracked stone, picking up every little thing you see. Well, you're very skilled at making baggage for yourself. Preparation is storing food for lean times, piling up lumber and lemons for the ill-conceived juice. You learn to step lightly in the swamp, or you drown, or get eaten, or... Don't forget to empty your pockets now and again. What? Probably should have taken the way shrine, but too late now.
This work isn't going to do itself. Fine. I state the obvious. You are Ogel, not of our tribe. Coming here makes you either... Kishi is always in trouble, but never has the mud risen so high. He disobeyed tradition, tribal laws, and my direct orders when he decided to interfere in the rites of ascension. Now the Raj Khan. <sighs> I grind my fangs in frustration. I tried to talk to the Raj Khan, the war chief, but he doesn't want to hear the truth. The dead water only care about strength, and this book should have been destroyed ages ago. Kishi hid it here. He wants me to remember who I was, but I am no longer the Kardilith. The tribe has sentenced Kishi to death. I will stand at my son's side, and you would risk life and limb for a stranger. Kishi believes that outsiders aren't intrinsically bad. So, I accept his opinion. I expose the spine of regret. Once the Deadwater tribe was as numerous as the fish in the streams. Now, we send our dwindling number of hatchlings to die. The ruins serve as a perfect killing field. Which is what will happen to Kishi if you continue... There is no place in the village for... I served as the tribe's war teacher before I was replaced. That old book contains my training. The Ogel sees the truth, even through the fog of our traditions. The laws of the Deadwater refuse to bend, but in a powerful will. strange. First I break the laws of the tribe to save lives. Now an outsider appears out of nowhere to rest. My exile. How unexpected. When last we talked, he urged me not to oppose the Kadilith. But I refuse to let the dead water become nothing but a memory. Mewajez, the war teacher, instructs our novices, trains them to walk the path of the lily. Her methods Instead of making us strong, they lead to nothing but death. I speak true. My clan, Boki, was our war teacher until one mistake led to his disgrace. Now Mewa Jez trains the novices. In six seasons, she has lost every... Yeah, Boki. that just sounds like a shit picture. Tell him that I will find a way to save our tribe. Don't let you need to just get rid of that trainer. She doesn't know what she's fucking doing by the sound of it. Say your words, Mavages, and then leave me to my grief. Kishi rejected our laws because of your obsolete ideas, Boki. Let this end with your egg son's death. Grieve as you will, but do not think to oppose me, old one. That is a battle you cannot win. Um, can I fight in his stead? 
the outsider returns. Just in time to see the dis... Ah, I thank the hist that Kishi lives. But he risks everything to swim against the Nagakur, who you call the dead water. We are warriors. Death is a part of who we are. In the past, our hat... One war teacher was replaced by another. Techniques were altered. Different virtues were emphasized. Un Find Kishi. He plans to show our war chief that there is a better way to train the novices. In the I patiently attempt to explain. Go into the swamp and look for the tamed vine tongues. These plants appear different from the more hostile varieties. Tossed by... Mewa Jez insists that her training is not at fault. The novices are too weak, and that is why they fail. The war... Because strength is only one weapon in the warrior's arsenal. To ignore the others is to court doom, as our novices find the Dead Water tribe learns to fight. We have very little experience questioning orders or ignoring tradition. Rajkal Silan accepts death as a constant companion. It is almost a member of our tribe. The war, the war chief believes that Mewa Jez's methods will produce stronger, more powerful warriors. Event. Yes. Loki, come out and tell me where Kishi is. I sigh at the inevitable. Find Kishi while I send Mewajez on a wild war chase. A back door I can take? The war chief sentenced Kishi to death, Boki. Your ex-son doesn't even have the good sense to die with honor. I bear my hands at this insult. Rage all you want. If Kishi comes for you, we'll slap him in chains. Dude. Impressive. You book his fire stones. I suppose he told you how to find my camp. I stare in wonder. Though I appreciate the aid you provided, I must ask why the outsider is here. Mewa Jez is a pox upon our tribe. I need to find a way to convince the war chief that Boki's training techniques are not only sound, but represent. Help me show the war chief that the old ways truly are the best. Specifically, the methods Boki once used to train our novices. And a daring plan it is. I will mentor you, use Boki's techniques to guide you through the path of the lily. When an outsider succeeds, we must return to my village and go to the war chief's pavilion. Only Raj Karl Silan can grant an outsider permission to walk the path. Rush Karl Silan is as wise as he... No, it doesn't. He may even order his warriors to strike us down for simply suggesting the idea. But the war... The cool little thing. I wish I could do that more often. 
It's almost like a grappling hook. This was just set in um the area with the kids. So if we did that, dares approach the sacred pavilion. Damn. Lower your spines, Kadila. It is the rare outsider that dares approach the Nagakor. I mentor the outsider. We ask to walk the path of the lily. Blasphemy! Kill them all! Hold! I will hear what Kishi and the outsider have to say. Boki says the Nagakor are doomed. Kishi claims our war teacher is to blame. Yep, he's what right. What say, outsider? Why have you come to the village of the dead water? I shake my head in disbelief. <laughs> Why is it that everything connected to Boki and his egg son reeks of broken laws and forsaken traditions? Do you truly believe you can succeed where the best of our young warriors have failed? Uh, it will prove something. On that we agree. Very well. Walk the path. Kishi will accompany you as your mentor. Return with the sacred lily and I will listen to Kishi's plea. If you fail and die, Boki will be executed, and our traditions will stand. Alright, give me a second, trying to get this. Bit of very long day. By Friday, I'll have enough. Mewages, prepare the path. The outsider will undergo the same right. And then you will. This is about saving our people, Mewages. Through weakness and trickery, you dishonor our tribe and my egg brother's memory no matter if my novices cannot succeed your outsider has no chance no chance Mewa Chess's novices fail because they attempt to use brute the first part of the path involves the trial of movement you must find a way to get past one of the largest deepest pool Boki accompanied his novices so I will accompany you I cannot interfere in your trials, only offer advice. But you can use me as a tool. Yes, with the... Point the arrow I gave you, and I'll take care of the rest.
evil friend outsider. I'm stretching the rules of the path by pulling you out of the quicksand. Okay, work that time. I don't have to fly stones anymore. So far, so good. Now let me tell you about the next section of the path. You picked the proper path through the quicksand. Well done. Dangerous plans and remember that I am a weapon in your arsenal. Use the arrow I gave you to direct me against the dangerous plants as you see fit. No, Mewaches considers Boki's techniques to be obsolete. A war teacher who helps her novices only enables.
No wonder my brute force is not fucking working. So many fucking hazards that I couldn't fight through. Well, friend outsider, I think we may actually succeed and reach the sacred lily. Overconfident, De Rosa guards the sacred lily. He is powerful and hard to kill, but he isn't invincible. Here, take this sack of firestone. De Rosa is an Argonian behemoth, created by our hist to protect the sacred lily and test the mettle of our novice warriors. Do I have to kill him or can I sneak around him? Signal totem. 
let's return to the village and present the sacred lily to the war chief. Oh, you did well, friend outsider. Point the arrow I gave you, and I'll take care of the rest. What you at for you in docks? I hear they never would have held without you. Huh? Where is the outsider, Kishi? Did the quicksand swallow them? Mm. The outsider approaches now, bearing the sacred lily. You haven't seen one in a while, have you, Maywatches? Step forward, outsider. That is not possible! The sacred lily. It represents the hopes and dreams of the Naga Corps. The dead water. I do not trust outsiders. But I respect strength. Kishi taught you well. And you have succeeded. I should never have accepted Boki's resignation. That was a mistake that has cost the Naga Corps dearly. Kishi shall be our war teacher. If he could train an outsider to walk the path, think how... Mewajes trained the novices just as I asked her to. Any failure on her part is also a failure on mine. I shall ask her to assist Kishi and learn from him. Kishi must start training the next season of novices immediately. It has been too long since strong young warriors emerged. I hesitate to come. I need to consider what happened here, Rajkal. Your methods were as successful as ever, Exire. The outsider claimed the sacred lily. Ah, I hear your words, Kishi, and my spine swell with pride. Few Naga live to be as old as Boki. Most of our warriors die early, but not my exile. He has used his wits and strength to overcome. I am honored and thankful that my plan worked. Now, I need to rebuild confidence in the young ones. Get the next season of Hatchlings ready to walk the path. The dead water will always face adversity. I want to give them the tools to survive. Mm. The war chief is wise. Two Kadiliths can impart more wisdom than one, provided Mewaje's call. Thank you, friend outsider. Hey, you got fire Rogers. rocks. You made an excellent Nagakur warrior. Please, take this as a symbol of my appreciation. You have done a wonderful thing for me and my tribe. Kishi, we must have words. I will not apologize for my actions, Mewajes. I seek none. You have done what I could not. Your novice survived and walked the path. What are you saying, Mewajes? I am saying that you have my support. Teach, and I will learn. Then together, 
We will make the dead water even stronger than before. Beg of you. All right, Chooks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the good. I is it that obvious? Yes, I am. Uh, well, no, not really. I've come to ask Sulaki. Ah, uh, well, uh, if you don't mind, uh, to introduce the issue, if nothing else. The dispute is between Nur. Thank you, Miko. You've at least given me time to work up some nerve. And please, be mindful to show Sulakish only respect. It would be best not to invoke her anger given her past affiliations. Both defendants claim inheritance of a salt rice farm previously owned by the now deceased Kimaru. Nurhe, a local trader, claims the farm as collateral for debts owned. Hey. The Saxleal of Merkmire don't exactly have laws as understood by outsiders. Small disputes are... I worked for Kimaru for several years. As a neutral third party with an interest in the farm's well-being, I volunteered. I worked for Kimaru and her alone. While Pahesa was present, she did little. I thought you should have the farm. The shadow scales are an order of assassins that have been present in the shadows. I don't believe so. They're. Sounds like you should be running it, mate.
your steps show determination, and your eyes curiosity. Tell me what you seek, Vigo. Ah, uh, yes. I carved this many seasons ago. I hoped it would convince my beloved Kudnakal to join me for our tribe's next bonding ritual, but... The Hist, in all its endless gifts, allows us to change many aspects of ourselves. Our gender is but one. I... If we had spoken a week ago, it would have been so. But as fate would have it, Kudnakal has recently undergone a change herself. Thank you. I will present these gifts to Kudnakal. The ceremony bonds... I had every intention to. Days I do... Exactly so. Each tribe... This varies. Sometimes the decision... Oh, well, I simply believe we would have very becoming hatchlings. <laughs> Oh, now we're hot, basically. I'm about to head up to the new Root Whisper Village. Want to come along? <laughs> Where? Look, I've been in Merc Mine. Have you heard that Zero Dillon Collections managed to obtain the golden skull of Vilakar? Really? Artifact has been lost for centuries. I think that booze drunk too much of his own supply. any closer stranger I can hear you ah such a sweet sound as they say silence is the music of Sithis you have my attention as I thought very well I'll need evidence if I'm to properly judge speak with the two claimants Nurhe and Paheza the midge lingers do you seek naturally right to the point tell me oh ka, ka, ka. i like you yes i am very old with age came the love. Your eyes are as lovely as muddy puddles found deep within the swamp. Hmm. So cringe. Vigo, you look like someone who knows a good business opportunity. Increase business for me, extra gold for you. I believe the Imperials call it a win. The instrument of my people. Ah. Argonians, the dulcet croaks of a Vosa Sato remind them of the sounds of home. First, we must learn everything we can about Captain Jimela and how to make a good impression. Uh, talk to people who have dealt with her before. Appearances, Biko, appearances. Jimela travels the world and has refined taste. Of course. You have worked with the legendary Khajiit Sea Captain? What do you want? That sniveling little slug. Chuxu was supposed to handle this himself. Well, what more do you want to know? The farm was my egg sister's. So it... No. But why would she need to? Of course she would want me to have the farm. All I want is to sell the damn place and move on with my... Her memorial, of course. When a Saxlail dies, their lives are honored with the carvings on their grave. Friend of Zucus. You are the one Zucus spoke of, yes? Yep. Friend to the Bright Throats. Yep. I need your help. We need you. Donle was skinned alive. Jesus. Whoever did that to him wanted to send a message. They left his body on display. He was not dead when we found him, but there was nothing we could do. Other than oh, his tongue before the end. 
That's fucked. Then it is a warning to many. Our root heralds held a moot with our allies and learned that Donlay was not the only Sax Leal to suffer this fate. You should speak to Milsis in Brightthroat Village. She is the one who found poor Donlay. Be gentle with her. She was we do not think this is something spawned from our nest bed. This is not how Saxaliel resolved their differences. I would not be surprised if the skin taker was among the black. Why would we not? Zax, I take your meaning, I think. All the more reason for you to help us find. Your eyes are as lovely as muddy puddles. God, I'm gonna. I'm about to head up to the new root Wish I could stop hearing that. Come along. You hit him where? Look, I've been immersed by a never I mean, they do sound like they're probably teenagers. She sounds like a teenager. I didn't mention his sister. Up to dark toads, and watch your step. This fear is made from wicker and prayers. I have no time to chat. It is a busy day, and the Shadow Scale, I see. My claim on that farm is as watertight as my trading vessels. Kimaru we were business associates. I would buy her salt rice crop and sell it in far off Senchal. The cats like to put moon sugar on it. When Kimaru fell on hard times, I offered a loan. Unfortunately, she died. That skooma adult Kuda couldn't tend a crop if her scales depended on it. She may be Kimaru's egg sister, but she cares nothing for that salt rice farm. It would be run into the muck before the next season. Of this, as the Dryskins would say, an idiot. You have but to speak to Paheza once to see that. Hopefully I can give the farm the truth soon. Village. Want to come along? You're hitting where? Look, I've been in my Your eyes are as lovely as muddy puddles. Down deep within the swamp.
And it wasn't the owner that owed debts, it was the fucking sister. I'm gonna go to the farmer's cell over there. I'm trying to take the farmer's cell over there, although I should know where. I don't know where I meant that. I'm wondering if she killed the sister so she can sell the farm. village. Want to come along? You're hitting where? Look, I don't hey. know my views, but I've never heard of you really whispering. My eyes always look ahead. They all their doubt and dread. Do not be a limp fish. You did right coming to me. I sense there are more coils to this snake than a mere property dispute. Yep. Welcome back. Your footfalls have a very peculiar quality, did you know? You bear much weight on your shoulders, I sense. Ah. And from what Chuksu has told me, she also plans to sell the farm, most likely to pay off the debts she undoubtedly has with such a habit. And so it all comes together. Paheza steals from her egg sister to pay off her debt to Nurhe. The salt rice farm suffers as a result. No. The answer is now clear. The two parties must meet. Acquire oil from both a mature bog willow and a perfumed snapper. You must keep these oils. It is a shadow scale custom. The oils help separate those who cling from that which they have both Nurhe and Paheza rub the oil into their scales and tell them to meet at the town's entrance. In Merkmire, the decision of a shadow scale is absolute. Chuksu may have sun blessed intentions. Not very far. Though the Saxlil generally choose to live in tribes based around a history, Lilmoth is a merchant town with no true leadership.
As fun as it's been to welcome you to our humble swamp, I've been called away on business. For now, I'm sure we'll cross paths again, as Kuvaste often do. That will be between me and the speakers, but I hope it's somewhere warm. Even the shadow scales like to sunbathe. This one does anyway. I think... You're no shadow scale, but you're clearly favored by the Night Mother. Okay. <laughs> well, at least there was a purpose to that. I'm sure you come with good tidings. Uh, what? Rub oil into my skin. Negotiate? Is the matter not settled? No. Good luck getting Paheza to even bother attending. Or even speaking her case coherently for that. Oh? Uh, not surprising. We wrote a... Just what do you think you're implying? You listen to me, mudfish. And you listen well. My business is all above board. I'm guessing the oil said that she can identify who's who. I'm about to head up to the new Root Whisper village. Want to come along? You're heading where? Look. Your eyes are as lovely as muddy puddles. How deep within the You haven't heard yet? Some newcomer awakened a hist tree. It was slumbering all this time deep in the swamp. Could it be? Someone finally awakened the dreaming hist. By the green, I can hardly believe it. I wonder how Root Whisper Village feels about it. I can't believe it. The dreaming hist. Yeah, and I'm the one who worked on it, will help to wake it up. Say, I didn't wake it up as gladly, I helped wake it up. You're the hero of Ash Mountain, the slayer of Balrath. Though the Saxlil generally choose to live in tribes based around a history, Lilmoth is a merchant town with no true leadership. Thank you both for agreeing to this negotiation. Of course, far be it from me to deny the wisdom of a shadow scale. Oh, please. 
Let's just get this over with. Before we begin negotiations, I want the two of you to shake hands, amicably, to show your good intentions in coming here. Oh. I guess that's what the oil was for. What happened? What did you do? What was asked of me, I resolved their dispute. I entrust the farm to you, Chuxu. You do best to not disappoint me. Makes sense. And so, the farm... I saw the needed resolution and acted accordingly. That is all. In the name of Sithis, I have brought about the needed change. Ah, to have the admiration of a midge. Should I be honored? Truly. I... I <laughs> think I have to lie down for a moment. And after that, it's off to get the farm back in order. Good luck, dude. Have you heard that Cyrodelic Collections managed to obtain the gold about to head up to the new Root Whisper Village? Want to come along? Really? You're heading where? Look, I've been in Mergemire for years, and I ain't never heard of a Root Whisper Village. There's some. What is this really about, outsider? Are you trying to intrude upon my business? I assure you, Captain Jimela knows a rogue and a cheat when she sees one. That's why we have such. Nah. Neshdika must have employed you as an envoy. Very clever. Know that Captain Jimela is a shrewd negotiator, but a fair partner. Speak true and bargain in good faith. That will earn you the respect of the Master of the Prowler. Nice. Oh, kind of very clean. Yes, the Prowler. Captain Jimela's ship. She can't very well be a sea captain and prominent trader without a good vessel. You need to know these things if you hope to impress the captain. I mean, I already know the captain pretty well, but anyway. Killer. Something must now clear the ways that which will be Why I always look ahead? Welcome to Lilmar, friend. Is that a shrewd and discerning gaze I detect? I know a fellow entrepreneur when I meet one. I'm a financier, you see, and I have an exciting business proposition, if you're interested, of course. The Kajidi Sea Captain, huh? <laughs> Everyone wants to work with Jimala. I met her a few months ago. I needed a reliable ship to carry Alikiri trade goods. No small thing, what with the war and all. Jimela made me an offer I 
couldn't refuse. Impress her? No, that wasn't how I got close to the sea captain. No, I showed her courtesy and respect. I deferred to her expertise and let her suggest the best way we could work together. That's how I caught Jimila's eye. Makes sense. Like you require protection, Sharp Tooth. You need something, or is this a social call? And if I killed someone you knew, remember that I'm a mercenary. It wasn't personal. It was just business. What they all say. Nesh Dika, the instrument crafter. Interesting. Sure, I know the captain. She hires me to escort her around the marsh sometimes. Matter of fact. I provided protection when she was last in port. I heard she's back, but I haven't spoken to her. Often enough to put a few meals on the table. The captain can handle herself, but she recognizes the value of local talent. Hiring a sellsword like me provides her with someone who speaks the language and knows the native customs. I did my job and made sure to follow the captain's commands to the letter. Captain Jimela appreciates a no-nonsense approach to my kind of work. I handle the rough stuff, but I never instigate trouble. I solve problems. I don't cause them. No surprise there. I'm what the locals call a Lucial Argonian, an out-of-towner. Basically, Argonians who leave the swamp and live among... You get a few suspicious looks from the locals. The Naga in particular. But for the most part, we're more or less left alone. Honestly, it'd be hard-pressed to find an Argonian in Merkmire who really resents much of anything. Yeah, except for the pity everyone shows me. The locals can't imagine life away from the Hist. I'd be lying if I said there was nothing to it. Out in Alakir, I rarely even thought about the Hist. Now that I'm here, I actually miss it. It's weird. <laughs> Interesting. New partner, come, speak with me. Ah, my friend and partner. Were you able to find out about Captain Jimela's likes and dislikes? Anything that will improve our chances to make a deal would be helpful. Well then, we should have little trouble. I am all those things and more when it comes to business. We just need to complete a Vosa Sattle so we can present it to the good captain. That is sure to convince her to deal with us. You can gather the frogs while I put the finishing touches on the instrument. We'll need mossfoot croakers, uh, ruby hoppers, indigo tree frogs, and sun-blessed toads. Uh, here, I wrote everything down so you won't have to remember all the details. What a strange question. We need the frogs for the Vosa Sattel. How else would the instrument produce its sweet-sounding melodies? The note explains how to catch each frog. Once you have them all, return to my shop and we'll finish the instrument. Ask, and I'll do my best to answer. Part, the frogs are the heart of the Vosa Sattel. Each little croaker, when nestled in its chamber inside the instrument, adds its voice to create the melodious sound. Happy frogs produce the most harmonious and joyful sounds. Oh, it's actually a live frog. I thought it was 
broke parts. Imagine being pampered and cared for in a safe, comfortable environment, singing alongside your closest and dearest friends. That's the life of a Vosa subtle frog. Every nest inside the instrument is warm and moist, full of mud and tasty treats. Interesting. Mossfoot croakers nest in the reeds that grow along the shore east of Lilmoth. These playful frogs have no natural predators. They eagerly greet visitors. I suggest you gather these green little fellows first, as they are easiest to catch. Yeah. Second, seek out the ruby hoppers. These red frogs like to sun themselves on stones around Lilmoth. Approach cautiously, however, or the ruby hopper will run. Once frightened, they often hide by the big tree at the center of town. Ah, the indigo tree frog. It nests high up in the trees, but loves the taste of flesh flies. Uh, find the right trees. Sun blessed toads. They. I'll be in my shop preparing the Vosa Sato. See you soon, partner. <laughs> it's very interesting using live frogs as part of an instrument. Right, it's funny because I was actually thinking earlier, like, what actually drives the sound? Turns out it's an actual frog. Sorry, I didn't mean to trespass. Fog. Fucking hell, that runs like a motherfucker. I have work, and I'm not particular about who takes the job. Gold for favors. Over here.
hear about Dunley's killer? I heard whispers of a skin taker. I'm so about to head up to the new Root Whisper village. Want to come along? You're heading where? Look, I've been in Merkmire for years, and I have never heard of a Root Whisper village. You haven't heard yet? Some newcomer awakened a hist tree. It was slumbering all this time deep in the swamp. Could it be? Someone finally awakened you. Your eyes are as lovely as muddy puddles. How deep? Hail again, friend. How goes your frog collecting? I hate to bother, friend partner, but you have been gone. Yes, yes, I should have noticed. Your bath. Sun blessed toads. That's fun. Oh, did I just cover myself in it? Great, those are gonna fall over. How long is hell it wears off? I smell how delightful I hope you were gentle with the little so they are 
How good of you to join us, little croakers. Let's go inside, Beagle. Welcome to your new home, my little friends. Now, let's listen to how it sounds. Your perfection! Take this masterpiece to Captain Jimela with my compliments. That should secure us a deal. You're just... Are we heavy? Of course, I always keep an ear hole open for important information. I'm surprised to see you in this part of the world, old friend. Not that I'm complaining. Intriguing. Deals keep bringing me back to this swamp after all. So many captains consider Lilmot to be beneath their notice. Vosa, what now? Uh, tell me more, Envoy. What is this contraption and why should I care? Oh, the sound of home. Yes, I can see the profit in that. I target... I think what you said will make more sense after another couple of drinks. <laughs> Still, it's exotic, I'll give it that. And I love a good challenge. Oh, yeah, there's five early frogs in there. <laughs> I've got a lot to do here. So, tell me, friend partner, was Captain Jimela impressed? Was she... The sun shines on my scales. Five Vosa saddles. I am going to need so many frogs. No worries, Biko. I... About to head up to the new Root Whisper village. Want to come along? You hit me where? Look, I've been in my years. I've never heard of the Root Whisper village. Ooh, bells. Beagle friend, 
dry skin. Didn't I see you talking with the explorers from Syria? I have suffered shame for the actions of my ancestor. When the Imperial Ninth Legion marched into Merkmire, my distant relative agreed. After my egg relative joined them, the Legion vanished. At long last, I believe I know where they disappeared to. My eggs. There have always been dark legends surrounding the Sophia. Evidence that the Ninth Legion visited the cavern before it disappeared. Maybe even signs that the Imperials entered Sophia and never emerged. If we could... The Sophia Caverns were sealed by a rock slide in the distant past. Recent tremors, however, have... Gin Rajul was a renowned scout. Well respected before the Imperials convinced him to help them. I'm certain they must have... Many seasons ago, when the Imperials first sent troops to our beloved swamps, the Ninth Legion terrorized the region. I've gathered every... That proves it. My ancestor and the Ninth Legion did visit this cave. Let's keep looking around. Sorry. Damn it. to explore these caves.
fuck, I was scared of things. Got ambulance out. That's fine, my baby, too. Get us. That was a bloody passion. That's a ritual dagger. Probably the one used by the elders to perform the binding ritual. Now we need to find the altar. long as the cat
the altar the elders use to prepare the rite of binding. I think I can duplicate the ritual, but I need you to do something first. From what we learned, I will prepare the dagger and the sacred altar. The Wujuka is a massive pool. According to the stories, the Wujuka creates an extension. The Wujuka isn't like other Voroplasms. It has an intelligence and a hunger different from the simple creatures seen. Jai Wija Vika Kai. Quickly now, ignite the brazier. The light of binding is complete. Meet me outside and we can talk. The journal and letters we found prove that the Lost Legion met its doom in Sophia Cavern. They also reveal that my ancestor led them there in order to protect Merkmire. For seasons and seasons, my friend. And I shall inform the elders of the nearest tribes. They will once again take up the responsibility. I do. I do. 
He knew the tribes weren't strong enough to oppose the Ninth Legion. So he... Not only will this evidence restore the honor of my Egg family, our actions have... I can't wait to tell... The binding will hold for a while. Oh, most assuredly. I might even talk to Cyrodiilic Collections, since my people have little use for history. I hate those my guns because of the bloody totems. <sighs> Excuse me. This is not a tell of my looks fit. Oh, I've been here before. There's a dude that was trapped down there.
down to the uh, month. A second. Oh. of the teeth. She has many names, yes. What blood she does not drink is spilled on the altars of the temple. For what purpose? The priestess, I only know, we work. It is. The story, a wonder from before dusk, built high to cast Sithis's long shadow over the land. The old ways sought to appease Sithis, so it might spare us from destruction. In our ignorance, that Sithis is not only destruction, Sithis is change. Sithis death. <laughs> Stop just for being impaled. You come to drain the it does not matter.
can't get enough of this fine vintage, huh? He got out? Slippery. I'm grateful the history. So far, yes. I she will find others. Like the bloods. I feel they have stood too long already. They stand for a Sithis that is no longer or never was. She's all save to cast. She's all save it. Some may the rose. Here it is.
mother gather support in Lilmoth. Get some rest. Only a warm meal. I bet Sithis would want a bash. Right now, I am strongly considering it. The temple seems quieter than the last remnants of the old ways. Shuzol said, though dead, the husk of it. Then we were not. May yours. Have you come with the cra Precisely. These ruins represent old foolhardy beliefs. Our people thought to be stone, immovable. No, far more than art. Quickly then, tell me precise. I belong to the
you've returned. Now it is time to destroy that which has been created. Quickly, smash the monument with your hammer. <laughs> How glorious. The chaos. Of course. I may be a priest. Have you any other questions for me? I belong to the... Kill me, or at least bark and birth. I nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> Maybe I should have. It couldn't be worse than what the skin taker did to poor Don Lay. Dangled like toad jerky from a tree. It's true. He was trying to tell me something, but his voice was as ragged. It sounded like he was saying hissed. I think he wanted to be returned to the roots before the end. That night, Sulacia lives in Alton Mirhilio, across the marshlands to the southwest, just off the coast. I hope you find he's a deadwater tracker that comes through our lands to trade his game. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh, sacred sap! He does! So, well, I'm not letting him out of my sight the next time he passes. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I'll be too careful. They hissed. Pardon me, traveler, but have you a moment? A plain wooden box the length of my... I'd not... Many thanks. As I said, it contains a memento from... Because there's nothing to return to, I'm afraid. It was a long time ago. You and Tom will get that monster Sadal at bay. I've and... seen you. Yes, the friend of Zucus. Mm -hmm. Beware. The road surrounding all... My name carries far these days. Why do you seek me? More than one. Choglada, impaled on a pole near here. Zuti, hanging... There is no glory in killing a withered root and an unblooded child. The skin taker only preys on the weak and defenseless. Confronted by a war... Goosen, one of my tribe. Found the skin taker carrying another victim to display. The coward fled without a fight. If the too clean for one, very little skin was left clinging to the muscle below. The skin taker works slowly. Their technique is one of cruelty, not efficient.
It's good to see you, Biko Gel. I have not forgotten your freeing me from the blackguards. Would that I had killed her. When I was captured, one of the blackguards seared my leg with a hot poker to burn. The skin taker moved under the cover of darkness, but the moonlight betrayed her. The woman had skin as pale as Vishkliel scales. It caught the light. I crossed paths with the skin taker by the dead water pools near our village. I re they did not take my eyes or hands, so I am still of some use. Dead water are no stranger, not one of ours. That's all I can say for certain. We await members of the other. A possibility. The blackguards have sent brutal messages in the past, but they were clear. His bumpy arse, it hurts. Yeah, yeah, you do me. Don't bother. Savages rub their traps in poison. Got me on a fool's errand. Blundered into this trap while rooting through the muck for Hostia's damned knife. She knew the Argonians would be prepared this time. Probably sent me to get killed and throw them off her trail. Oh, was that you that stayed their blades? She was grateful for that. Dying at the hands of the same lizards that killed her husband would have been the worst way to go. Think she snapped a bit after, though. Do I look like a skeever to you? I should. Caught in a trap, diseased, and half dead. She sent me to this miserable death, so what do I owe her? Give Hostia my regards. Tell her. No. Been abandoned, though. Doesn't hurt so much now. The end. You spared her life. She was grateful for that, but the mud, he was a blackguard, had to be guilty of something. I don't remember. Oh, it's, she was the one, with, oh, I'm changing Did my... Did the mud lizards send you to find me? You're meddling in things. I have no quarrel with you. No! Don't make yourself my enemy. Turn around! I tried to offer you the same mercy you gave me. You should have taken it. I'm going to hang your hide over Loma. Why did you care for those savages? This is barely more than feet.
That's what I get for being merciful. I'm glad to see you unharmed. The dead one, truly. You have done us another great service for all of That is why the Brightthroats advocate for mercy. We can achieve peaceful coexistence between all of the tribes if we'll never become so combative as the dead one. But perhaps it's time to accept that compromise can't always be the answer. A hard lesson. I feel bad. I see you have returned empty-handed. Were you unable to find... I doubt there is a hatchling alive who has not heard some version of the tale. I am well. And you as well. Ah, I see you have... This pendant belongs to the Root House people. It seems their hunting party arrived before you could. Perhaps... Be cautious. Though the Root House people may not be hostile, their greed runs deeper than the Hist's root. Oh. Yes, of course. It's a large branch. When your task is complete, meet me. Yes, I always have. When my village is hist... A tribe's connection to its hist is sacred. One cannot exist without the other. In the past, I couldn't bear to call anywhere home. Move a stroll. What business have you with the root house people? Perhaps. It wouldn't be any business of yours if we did, would it? Unless... Hmm... We ran into some blackguards on the way here. No casualties, but they did manage to nab my pack. Quite the embarrassment, truth be told. Infiltrate their caravan and retrieve my hunting bow, and I'll give you the box.
The Blackguard Caravan is just north of here. Shouldn't be any issues. Just keep to the edges and stay alert. It belongs to my Uzith Biko, my bonding ritual partner. He is a fine specimen, so I had to make sure to steal something of great worth. The hunting bow you seek has been passed down through his tribe for generations. Of course, how else would I prove myself a worthy companion? That's why this theft stings so greatly. For the blackguards to steal that which I had already rightfully stolen? Such... And there's the spin. Oh, you return. Very well. You have earned your prize. Though the box was dead. Yes, it's most strange. Dare I hope yours? Oh, thank the hist. I thought it. I've carried this branch for many years. It was the only piece of my old home that I had left. The bright throat elders have already given me permission to bury the branch. Just please be mindful, my. By your hands, my traveling has come to an end. Thank you. A foolish thought, but I suppose you're right. Now is the time. I more many places. I simply. Re okay. One more quest.
Whoa, sick. The winds have brought you back. A tree once stood within that glade. Under its leaves, Tunzi first saw his beloved. It is not so. May your path be. The bright throats are most kind, but my tribe needs me. I'll leave. I'm afraid I cannot. Perhaps the hist grew the tree to honor his memory, or perhaps it grew from. Precisely. I cannot. Nosh. Okay. I'm gonna leave this or not. <sighs> if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you know, check out the Twitch stream live. The link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash Rados96. Uh, um, I'll be back on tomorrow night for some more Elder Scrolls. Moving on to the next area. I'm not sure what that is yet, but you'll find out. But yeah. Till next time. See you later.